those of you that are new here, welcome. For those of you that are not new here, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a Mother's Day gift guide. Nothing too long, about four or five things that I would get my mom. And this is a whole new meaning to me just because I'm a mom now. This video is sponsored by MCM Worldwide. So when it comes to gifts, I wanna be the best gift giver. This is why I don't want to go into some crazy long list of gifts. I just want to tell you the four or five things that I would actually love to receive as a mom and love to gift. And I'm hoping that people would just like love them as well and say, oh, she's a really thoughtful gift giver. So let's begin. All right. So the first thing that I would gift to my mom is a nice bag, something that is classic that's going to stand the test of time something just so beautiful that i think she'll really appreciate i have this medium-sized leather bag from mcm it's a napa leather this brown is so beautiful i think it's gonna go with so many items i wish you guys could see and feel how soft it is it looks really pretty and i love that it's very understated this is the back of the bag it has gold hardware and this is what the inside of the bag looks like there is a zipper in there for extra storage it also does come with a longer strap that you can or she can use Let me just share with you guys how to attach the longer strap this bag is under fifteen hundred dollars but mother's day is different now that i understand what it means and what it's like to be a mom there is literally no amount of money that i could ever complain about to say oh that's too much for my mom. Like she deserves this bag and so much more. So this is what the bag looks like with the long strap on. And then this is what the bag looks like without the long strap. It's so cute both ways. I love it like this. It has such a great and unique shape and you can easily hold it just like that. So cute and gorgeous. So I also added in a little coin purse plus credit card little wallet here, nothing too bulky. It's the matching to the purse because she deserves it. So in case you're not familiar with MCM, they are a globally diverse multicultural luxury brand. And of course I have a discount for you guys. I have a code that you can use for 10% off if you want anything from the items that I showed you. They also have a curated Mother's Day selection with other items from this Mode Travia line. They even have monogram leather and other little accessories like the one I showed you as well. So you can shop all the products I showed you via the links down in the description box. All right, moving on to the rest of the Mother's Day gift ideas. So gift number two is a little gift card to a spa day. And I'm not just talking any spa, like a nice spa. Think a luxury hotel that has a really nice spa where you can send your mom off to enjoy a whole day and also enjoy the amenities. So for example, if you are local to Los Angeles, the spa that I really love is the new spa at the Fairmont Century Plaza Hotel. It's one of the largest in LA and basically you just have to call whatever hotel you choose and ask them if the guests can enjoy all the amenities even if they're not a guest of the hotel. And I would definitely opt for the longer massage, not just the 50 or 60 minute, go for like the 90 or 80 minute massage or a longer one if they have it, if your mom is okay with it. I personally love a good spa day. I love the idea of being by myself in a spa, in the steam room and all those great little amenities that they have to offer. So this is something that I think any other mom would enjoy as well. All right, gift idea number three is a brand new cookware set. And I'm not just talking any cookware set. This is for your mom. So you need to get her the next level, the top of the top, the best of the best cookware set. The reason why I like this gift idea is because sometimes these are things you don't want to buy for yourself, but if you're gifted it, you're going to love it and appreciate it because you know, moms, we all cook. I'm sure your mom, just like mine, does a lot of cooking for us and they probably have cookware sets that they've had for a really long time. And so it's such a nice idea to try to upgrade their cookware set. Another idea that I really, really love is an espresso machine. Again, I'm talking a top of the line, best of the best espresso machine, and she is just going to be so happy and so excited and so appreciative. And it's also gonna look really great in her kitchen. Another idea is an upgrade of her vacuum. Think 
Dyson. Some of this is gonna require you to do a little bit of investigation, ask a couple questions on what they're looking for, whether they want something big and heavy duty, or if they want something more compact, more for quick cleanups. Dyson's are pretty pricey, but again, they're some of the best vacuums out there. So if you're gonna go that route, I would definitely do a Dyson. Here's a little bonus that I really love the idea of is a brand new set of luggage as well. And again, something nice, something durable, because again, it's your mom. All right, and last but not least, I think that, you know, skincare cosmetics, it's a little bit hard to gift. It's also very personal, especially when it comes to things like fragrance and things like that. Although they sound nice, you just never know if they're gonna like it or if it's gonna fare well with their skin. But if you do, and if you know certain brands that she loves, maybe she has been talking about or lusting after a luxury skincare set, a certain perfume. The idea of doing a basket, a whole gift basket of all of those things would be such a nice idea. So now it's just like a plethora of really great, nice items versus just one. Go and get a basket, some stuffing and some cellophane wrapper and put it together yourself. I think the thought and the effort is gonna mean so much to her and it's gonna be kind of like an endless gift basket where she's gonna keep going in for more, opening one gift after another, and she's just gonna feel so happy. Maybe you can throw in like a lotion, a fragrance, a skincare set, a new robe, maybe some slippers. And that's pretty much it for my Mother's Day gift guides. Hope this was helpful and useful, and I hope you guys all enjoyed. Again, check the description box for all the links below. Okay, so last vlog, I remember I said that I was gonna show you guys the new plants that we got in our home, and I never did that. So let's do that right now. We have one beautiful plant behind me. All right, so this is a plant in our master bathroom, and we got this beautiful planter locally from Berber, Berber? I'm not really sure how you say it. And from the plant dad is, is where we just got the whole service done and the plants from. So this first one here is a gorgeous ficus Audrey in our bathroom, like I said. And then here behind our little chaise area, we have this little potted plant. It's called a ficus triangularis. I love that little tree. And then here in our little formal living room, we have a little lollipop tree, also known as a Ficus McLean. Not quite sure how you say it, but it's right here next to our little bench at the entry. And then at the entrance here, we have a money tree, also known as a Pachira Aquatica. I think that's how you say it. I wanted this to be like the entrance little piece and also for good fortune. And then here we have in our living room, a gorgeous little, it's a Dracaena tree. I really love this one because it's all spiky and it's super cute. This is an older planter that we had and they kind of made it a little more like colorful to our aesthetic, which they're able to do and it's really nice. All right, I also wanna share some new jewelry pieces that I recently got that I've been loving. So starting off with some earrings. So these are some new earrings I got from the brand Heaven Mayhem. I have been searching high and low for earrings like this. It didn't have to be like designer vintage, but I wanted that vibe. But I also didn't wanna spend like too much money. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but my style towards jewelry has changed. I used to use a lot of necklaces and would layer them even, but now I've kind of steered away from using like necklaces at all. And then I don't use them, but there's just definitely like a time and place for when I use a necklace or necklaces i will still use them but again it's more like statement pieces that i have been loving the chunkier earrings and bracelets or bangles but these i've definitely been into i have this one there's another pair that i got from heaven mayhem recently it's this two-tone square right here that i've been so into i just recently wore this to stagecoach the quality and like the weight of these are also really really good and then another square piece that I have been completely lusting after for like the longest time. It's a little bit on the pricier side. I think this would actually be a really good gift too because it's something kind of vintage-y that is pretty classic looking. It's these earrings from Orium Collective. These are called the Kate and they also come in silver. 
I just love the look. I'm really into like the old money vibes. I feel like I was kind of already loving it before it was a thing and then people called it that and I was like, that is exactly like the look that I was going for. Otherwise, when it comes to resort wear, I have been looking for super thick bangles for a really long time and I feel like I even mentioned it a while ago. I have seen Kendall, no not Kendall, Kylie Jenner wear some really thick cool looking bangles and I could never find any so I would just buy like the thin bangles like from Zara I found a bunch and they were just like a whole set of a bunch of bangles and I would just wear them like for vacation but I really love the look of thicker bangles like these for like a vacation look with a dress or even with just your bikini and just letting this shine with really nothing on except your bikini or like your vacation dinner dress with some of these maybe two of these or all three I'm so glad that I found these. I got these off of Revolve and I also got a different pair from a different brand in silver. I just love these types of statement bangles for resort wear, for vacation. And again, just envision you and your bikini with just these bangles and like a sarong. I just think it's such a like luxe looking jewelry piece or pieces when you're wearing it out in that type of setting. Say hi guys. Hold the camera. You want to hold the camera? Yeah. Okay. First say hi. Hi. Look over here the camera. Say cheese. Say cheese. Nice. How old are you? Two. When's your birthday? Two. Yeah. Hi, you didn't tell them when is your birthday? Nose. When's your birthday? Nose. Nose? Where's your nose? You want to hold the camera? Yeah. Okay, here, hold it. Careful, okay? It's heavy. It's heavy. Yeah. Let's go, go. Do you want to tell them your ABCs? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. It's a double piece. Yay! All right, probiotics, symbiotic. We hear about them all the time. We talk about them. But if you're still not taking one of those, then... all right, you guys just saw me filming a little campaign that I am supposed to post on Instagram soon. I don't know, I've been sick for so long. I think the last vlog I mentioned that I was sick on the last vlog and I feel like I keep getting better and then something always happens. So it's definitely getting better last week. And then we went to Palm Springs for Stagecoach. It was so hot and it was so, so, so freaking dusty. Anyone that has gone to Coachella or Stagecoach knows how dusty it gets. So I felt like, and Jamie felt like he had all this dust or we had all this dust in our nose and in our lungs, even with us like covering our faces, it did not help. And so I feel like that's kind of been not helping me. But also the weather decided it wanted to change again and my allergies are crazy. I've been sneezing all day, blowing my nose, and I'm like, geez, am I ever gonna just like feel normal again? So it's just been really annoying. I am about to do just like a quick workout. I've been trying to do a lot of work today and there's just always kind of people around. It's pretty normal in our household just cause like I have my sister that works out of our house. We have our nanny that helps us. We have Presley and then Jamie works from home too. And then we have me. I went downstairs to try to film that campaign but Presley and my nanny were there. I came upstairs to try to film that campaign and then Jamie, came home and came straight up to where I was. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't film this campaign. Cause I'm not one to just, I still am not comfortable like trying to film around people. You know, I need to be in my own zone, in my own space. And yeah, otherwise you'd hear like Presley screaming in the background and that's not professional. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna do a quick workout. I haven't worked out since I've been sick for so long and I feel like I just look like I lost weight because when you know when you work out you build muscle 
And so sometimes you can look a little bit like, I don't know what the word is, like you just look more toned and that can make you look not like you gained weight, but when you are so used to working out and then you stop working out for so long, you definitely look slimmer because you lose all that muscle mass you're used to building. At least that's how my body works. And some people think that I'll lose weight and it's just like, no, I mean, maybe, but it's also that I'm usually consistent in working out and building muscle that when I don't, for me, it just looks like I lost weight and it just makes me look slimmer. Definitely feel like I lost like hip definition and glute definition because I have not been like working out. So I'm gonna do some Chloe Ting workouts, which if you have been watching me for a long time, you guys know I used to do a lot of Chloe Ting workouts on YouTube. Her name is Chloe Ting, so that's why I'm saying Chloe Ting. And I'm gonna do her little hourglass booty workouts because I feel like they're so effective. Good morning, it's Thursday. What's the date today, Presley? <laughs> it's May, I know, I have to make you pancakes. Can you say hello? Hello. Okay, I will make you pancakes. It is May 4 and we're making breakfast here. We also have a whole thing of donuts. That's for the adults. Anyway, I am making her some banana pancakes. Mashed up my bananas. I'm gonna do three eggs. Oh, this egg over here. Oh, I want more candy. No, you do not love candy. You don't barely even eat any candy, Press. If you eat a lot of candy, you're gonna get an ouchie in your teeth and you're going to the dentist. Mm -hmm. 